Google Fonts is now supported inside Tablet Cloud web authoring. Yes, it's specifically web authoring. I think that's part of the sort of technical ability here. But nonetheless, I'm here in web authoring. So how does this work? Well, I've actually sort of jumped ahead here. So I'll hide it and show you how to initiate this. Because if you right click any title, you don't get the formatting capabilities. You can edit the title and you get the little pop up and you can highlight this and you'll get some fonts available to you here. But this isn't actually the typical way to access fonts when you're formatting a dashboard. There's a couple of other ways. If I head, go ahead and hit OK and I go to format here at the top, you'll see I get the options to format. And I can format the dashboard of the workbook. If I select the workbook, a formatting pane pops up over here on the right hand side. You can see the whole uh, page sort of shrink to fit it in. And then you have all your fonts in one place, all the uh, titles, everything, the tooltips, everything's available to you here. And when you go ahead and click on one of these drop downs, you get the option for the font. And when you go ahead and click on that, you get the options for the new fonts. So the specific lists of fonts that are new in this release, I'm going to read from it here, are Lato, Montserrat, great font, Notto Sans, Notto Sans, Hebrew, Notto Sans, Arabic, Notto Sans, um, Dev Devanagari. Oh gosh, I think I made that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Open Sans, Oswald, Poppins, and Rallaway. Now the really interesting thing here is there is actually new support for Arabic, Hebrew, and Devanagar, oh my god, I have to go and figure out how to say this. Um, Devanag De Devanag Devanagari in the cloud. I think it's Devanagari. I think I think I got over that crest. Um, my dyslexia is awful. But anyway, um, this is the first time these have ever been supported inside of Tableau. So this is also a great addition for that specific purpose. So you can go ahead and choose those font formats. So if you just sort of go ahead and scroll this wrist, you can see that they're all here. But if I choose Montserrat, this is a fan favorite of mine. I've actually used this on my website before. It's just a really, really nice font. It's a really sort of nice touch. Um, it's got a light and normal variant. The variants are actually quite interesting because they give you the same font in a slightly different sort of configuration. That's what variants do. Uh, but the, 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 the font that I think just works everywhere, wherever I've used it, is Robota. Robota is just a really solid, nice looking font. It's just soft on the eye. It's great for screen. And um, you can see here, it even lifts sort of this whole dashboard uh, up. I just changed that uh, to Robota and it's just, you can immediately see that the font is just a little bit richer. Of course, you can do other things like you can set different fonts for different parts of the dashboard as well. That's also possible. And you can even go with titles, for example, if I go for um, dashboard titles, which is what we're looking at here, we can go for something a little bit more glamorous. So we'll go for Oswald. And um, I don't think that's actually worked because I don't think this is a dashboard title. I think it's something else. Overview is the name of the dashboard, but I think this, what is this? What is this? Um, this is not doing what I wanted to do. So what we'll go ahead and do is choose Oswald here and we'll set this to be really bold. And then what we'll do is we'll be just cheeky and just go really make a large, let's go make it really, really large. Actually, no, that's not large enough. Let's go make it really, really large, 36, here we go. Let's not make it bold and let's hit apply and hit okay. There we go, we we'll just squash this down a bit. And there you go, just by changing the font, um, you're just able to lift a dashboard and make it look like you spend a bit more time than you did uh, to make the dashboard look nice and a little bit more impactful in terms of how it reads and, and how it looks. So that's pretty much the change. Um, Google Fonts now available in Tableau Web Authoring. I don't know why it's this specific set of fonts. I would have liked some other fonts as well. Um, but I figure they're going to go through and sort of choose some with taste and then make that available. In the future, they might make all fonts available, but then give you a configuration to choose which ones are shown inside a Tablet Cloud. So there'll maybe be a two-part setup. Nevertheless, I would really like this inside a Tablet Desktop as well, because it would be a really great addition to allow all the creative juices to run around and make some awesome stuff instead of what people do today, which is they put fonts into images and they use those images as headers inside of their dashboards. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.